bear. Can you hear me? Welcome to the official draw ceremony of the Konipa Cup 2022. I am Simge. My colleague is Mert. Hello Europe, hello Africa, hello world. This is Mert and uh, I'm welcoming you as well from Konipa draw ceremony. Simge, hello. Hello. How are you today? I am excited, you? I'm excited as well. Uh, from all global crises, now it's time to talk about football and sport. So, what would you like to say about the tournament and uh, CONIFA? Yes, you know, CONIFA is the biggest football organization uh, all around the world, outside the FIFA. Uh, it is really important. Yes, exactly. And also, you know, CONIFA represents 58 federations and more than 300 million people around the world. You know, this is very exciting to know. Yes, do you know Simon Cooper? Yes, I do. I do remember him. Yes, he, he is a famous uh, football writer. He has got a book, Football Against the Enemy, and CONIFA has the same motto, aims to uh, build bridges between people, nation, minorities, uh, through friendship and being playing football. Yes, very good uh, details. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Uh, by the way, uh, I would like to welcome to everyone watching us on live from our Facebook and YouTube channels. Hello, welcome to studio. And now I think uh, it's time to go on. Uh, today, we are going to make two draws for Africa Cup and also Women's World Football Cup. Additionally, at the end of the draws, we are going to share with you uh, European Football Cup draw results, which has been held in Nice, France before. Yes, we have got many guests today. Yes. And uh, shall we start? First Let's of kick all, off. we would like to invite CONIFA Global President, Mr. Per Anders Blind for opening a speech from Sweden. Hello everyone and welcome to the CONIFA Draw Ceremony 2022. This is actually a historical moment for CONIFA, so thank you for watching. After nine years, we are now finally ready to launch a football platform for Africa through the CONIFA Africa Football Cup in 2022. And also, really, really important, something that we have been fighting very, very long for, is the CONIFA Women World Football Cup, the first ever women tournament inside CONIFA's uh, umbrella. And we will actually crown a world champion in women football this year. So it will be a really, really interesting event to follow. And uh, we are really, really happy that you are with us. CONIFA is so much more than football. Football is just a tool for a higher cause. And for us, we have four pillars that are really, really our core values. The first one is the humanity. Humanity means that we are all one in we are all one in this planet. We are one human race and we need to coexist and respect and understand each other. The second one is equality. It's really, really one of our biggest core assets and values inside CONIFA that we all have equal values. It doesn't matter if we, what race you are or gender or religious uh, uh, opinion. It, it's, we are all one. The second, the third one is actually inclusion. 
Today, you probably all know that the world is getting more and more, more divorced. The hostility to it, against each other is growing. And Cunifa is actually a counterforce. And we are here to build bridges between people. And the fourth one is actually friendship. And you will see all this in all our tournaments and in all our events. And so we are really, really happy that you also feel aligned with our values and follow us all over the world. Friendship is all about the global fam family where we respect and love each other. So really, really happy to, to have you here watching and following this uh, CUNIFA World Championship draw and the CUNIFA Africa Cup draw. These two tournaments together represent almost 300 million people all over the world. We have Biafra, we have the Yoruba Nation, we have the Matabele Land and Pro Arena Sport in Africa that uh, not only represent the people living in Africa because there are people in the diasporas all over the world. And the same is, comes to the women tournament where we have Tibet, the Sapmi people, Matabele Land again and Shekli Land. People that they have their own territory where they live, but they also have diasporas all over the world. So really, really from the bottom of my heart, welcome to this unique opportunity and thank you for our fantastic partners. We can't do this without the fantastic partners like Orsatec Media in North Cyprus and Schumacher Outfitters, our equipment sponsors that support all our events. So once again, finally, welcome to this fantastic moment and I hope you all will enjoy the show. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Blin, for opening speech from Sweden. Now it's time to uh, start to Africa Cup draw, Simye. Are you ready? Yes, I like Mr. Blin's speech and I want to repeat after him. Uh, Konifa is more than the football. Yes, it is more than football. It was important. Um, and now, uh, before we get started to Africa Cup draw, uh, we have a promotion video. Let's have a look together. Yes, now we have more two videos. I like to invite Continental President of Africa, Gala Maimu Wajiri, and then we will watch a cup facility video. Welcome to our race.
what is up? My name is Tevin Bluffnode, um, and I'm the CEO of Pro Arena Sports. Yeah, welcoming the Konifa Africa family and the Konifa Global family down to South Africa part race. Yeah, we're looking forward to having the event here. As you can see, there's a lovely grandstand behind us. We're looking to fill that stadium up with South Africans, by the way. Uh, put some pressure on the away team, you know. Okay, so it, it is a bit waterlogged, I won't lie. But I mean, it's been raining like crazy over the past couple of days. Uh, so there's really not much we can do about that. But as you can see, it's nice and close um, to the grandstand. So if Pro Arena Sports is playing first and you hear a go, that are warming up, they'll be able to hear that. Uh, maybe they can celebrate it with us, you know? Maybe. <laughs> but hey, we're looking forward to welcoming you and your team. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to welcoming the Konifa Africa Cup here to South Africa. Um, and we are ready. Well, we will be ready <laughs> when that event comes. Okay, cool. Peace and power. Hello everyone, my name is Ngala Maimu Wajiri, the Continental President of Qualify Africa. I welcome you um, and I bring before you the upcoming African tournament of CONIFA that will be the maiden edition and it will take place from the 20th to the 21st of May 2022 in the city of Paris in South Africa. This year's tournament will have four major um, contestants and participants, namely Yoruba Nation Football Federation, Biafra Football Federation, Matabela Land Football Federation and Pro Arena Sports that will be doubling as the host. So you are welcome to South Africa and not forgetting the fact that we'll be having the draws for this tournament on the 24th of um, April 2022 in Sabioneta, Italy. So you have these draws live during this um, occasion. And also, um, I want to take this opportunity to talk about Conifer events. Talking about Conifer Africa, we'll be having um, the women's football and the juvenile and the youth and the disabled sports that will be coming up probably by the end of the year or still in 2023. I want to take this particular moment and thank uh, my global president, Paris Anders Blink, European president, my friend Ro Alberto, and the host Pro Arena Sports again, Mr. Mike, and all those who have put their hands together to see this a success. I remember that we just started this project just a few months ago, and now we are achieving it. It's a great deal for Africa. And just like my African brothers and my South African brothers will always say, Jabulani Africa, which means rejoice, Africa. My name is Ngala Maimo Wajiri. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mbajiri. And now we are inviting CONIFA Global President, Mr. Per Anderson Blind. Mr. Blind, we are welcoming you from the studio and welcome to our ceremony. And uh, we would like to uh, op learn about your opinions. What would you like to say about the tournament? Thank you very much. Uh, And also, um, Konifa Vice President, Mr. Christoph Wenzel uh, with us. We can see him now uh, yes. and we are welcoming him as well. Mr. President and Vice President both uh, are together uh, with us now. But first of all, uh, we give a speech for uh, Mr. Blaine. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's really exciting to, to uh, be here live watching and following this fantastic uh, moment. Uh, actually, historical moment in Konifa's history. And, uh, the first ever sounds like okay. Yes, and um, we are ready. If Mr. Wenzel as well uh, is ready, uh, we would like to hear about uh, the tournament as well. Mr. Wenzel, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you, Pal. It um, is welcome to studio also. And Yes. It is amazing and a historical moment in the life of CONIFA and we are so excited about this ceremony today. Uh, thank you. And we are ready. Simga, if you are ready, yes, if of you are, course. we can kick for the draw if you want. Yes. Now we have Africa Cup draw ceremony. Yes, finally. And now we're going to start uh, this year's Africa Cup draw ceremony. Just before we being our draw, I would like to also announce the names of the teams. Uh, Biafra, Biafra, Yoruba Nation, Pro Arena Sports 
and Mata Belalat. We have four teams, as yes. we can see on the board. Now it's time for draw. Simge, ladies yes. first. Of course, let's start uh, by saying good luck, all teams, first of all. Yes. And yes, we are also very exciting. Yes, Mr. Blin and Mr. Wenzel, dear president and vice president, we are ready and now we are making the first name. Pro, Pro Arena Sports. Pro Arena Sports. Yes, we find out the first team. Pro Arena Sports. And next one. Okay, the second one. Yes. And the second team in my hands now. Yoruba Nation. Second team is Yoruba Nation. First team was Pro Arena Sports and the second one is Yoruba Nation. Both teams are matched between each other and now we know the next two teams, but uh, also Let's continue. Okay. Last two teams we know. Biafra and Mata Belaland. Yes, Mata Belaland. Mata Belaland. Will play. Third team from the pot. And the fourth one. Yes, the fourth team in my hands now. Biafra, Football Federation. Yes. Yes, we have four teams from the pot. Pro Arena Sports and Yoruba Nation has been matched, and Mata Belaland uh, versus Biafra. We we wish both we wish both team good luck. Simge, what do you think? Yes, it is really exciting. Again, uh, I hope uh, they will uh, good luck all teams. Yes, we can see the, uh, yes, okay, we can continue uh, with the next video. By the way, by the way, uh, if Mr. President and Vice President, uh, can you hear us? Uh, I would like to yes. learn about your opinion, what, what, about your comments. What would you like to say about uh, this match? Um. We have four amazing teams, and um, with the exception of Matabela Land, all the other three teams will be debuting teams. So we are very much excited about this uh, matchups. Okay, thanks for your comment, and uh, yes. Mr. President. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I can only agree with Christoph. It's uh, four amazing teams. Uh, these four teams actually together represent 160, 176 million people. Uh, if you look at Matabele land, it's approximately 6.2 million people. Uh, the Biafra community it holds uh, more or less 65 million people. Uh, we have the Yoruba, so somewhere between 40 to 50 million people, and the Pro Arena Sport that actually represent all the people in South Africa is pro approximately 60 million people. And when it comes to Matabele land, they played uh, in our tournament in uh, 2018 and became the fans' favorite because they not only celebrated and uh, were huge ambassadors for um, Africa on the pitch, but they were also amazing ambassadors off the pitch where they really, really embraced all people coming to the arena. So I'm 100% convinced that the Africa Cup will be a huge, huge show and a huge uh, amusement for everyone that will come to Paris and follow the games, also online. Yes, thank you very much for your comments. Uh, we will continue with the next uh, cup draw, but uh, at the end of this part, uh, we would like to see the team names uh, on the board one more time. Yes, we will. Okay, we will have a look at the end of the uh, ceremony. Uh, now, 
it's time for the next cup ceremony. Yes, it's time for women. Yes, Women World Cup. We continue with the next station, Women's World Football Cup draw ceremony. Are yes, you ready? Matt. Uh, I think, uh, what do you think uh, I want to learn? Nowadays, it is not possible to say uh, football is only for men. I think women in uh, all kinds of sports are more successful day by day. They are getting more successful than, you know, men. Unfortunately, that's true. Yes. I this, agree with you. This cup is the uh, show also. And now we have fascinating um, promotion video. Uh, we, we continue with the draw of Women World Football Cup ceremony. But first of all, uh, as I told you, we have a fascinating, amazing uh, video. Let's have a look together if you want. Yes. Sorry friends, women's football is not up for debate anymore. You can love it, you can hate it, you can even say it's not football, but that's not going to change anything because it's here to stay. TV viewership has never been higher, stadiums are starting to get packed out, and brands are starting to invest in the untapped market, which represents, wait for it, 50% of the population. Oh, child, will you ever get by? Will you listen to things I say? Will you know the difference from your wrong or right? Will you learn it along the way? No, oh, child, will you drink in the night? All the same mistakes We get around by chasing all the highs Forget all your lowest days And I know that I can't pretend That I haven't had my regret From the memories that I've kept To the history I forget Yeah, my father before he left Oh, there's one thing I wish he said yeah, yeah. Oh, child, just do what you love Cause you won't get this life again Tell me all about it when you're back Like I always did Oh child, maybe you can fall in love With a husband or a wife If you're happy when the road is getting rough I'll be happy to by your side And I know that I can't pretend That I haven't had my regrets From the memories that I can To the history I forget Oh my father before he left Oh this morning I wish he said you love cause you won't get this life again no 
though you won't get this life again. Yes, amazing woman. Yes, it, it was amazing and fascinating video, and there there were so many good shots. It was really hot. Yes, this is the uh, most exciting one for me. Yes, and now uh, we are very close to uh, draw ceremony, but we can have a look to uh, teams, and we can see the uh, teams' names. Yes, but first of all, we have got two videos. Yes, we have videos, but if you if if they are ready, our videos are ready. Wait, I'd like to share with you Women World Football Cup introduction video and then invite CONIFA Global Women Football Director, Ms. Dalara Dalton, for her speech. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and a very warm welcome to everyone joining us from around the world. My name is Dallary Dalton. I'm the Kenefa Global Women's Director. I'm very honored and excited to welcome you to the draw for our first Women's World Cup, hosted by the Tibetan National Sports Association with participating teams coming from all over the world. Without a doubt, we are living in an exciting time with the rapid growth and global interests of women's football. The commitment to expanding opportunities for women drives us forward at Kenefa to create a more inclusive organization and society. We believe passionately that football builds bridges to the world and brings people together in celebration. 
This historic event will have a memorable atmosphere of celebration and joy. You'll want to catch all the action and excitement. So be sure to follow us on all social media for schedule announcements, where you can stream the games, and to read about the top women footballers' incredible stories of determination and resilience. I would like to wish all the teams good luck, and we'll see you on the pitch. Thanks for her speech about Women World Cup. And now it's time for the draw ceremony, Simge. But before uh, passing to the draw ceremony, I would like to one more time welcome again, Mr. President and Vice President, Mr. Blins and Wenzel. Hello again. Hello, hello. Yes, we are uh, ready for next hello. session. If you are ready so, we can continue with the uh, draw ceremony. Yes, now let's start the Women World Football Cup draw ceremony. But firstly, I would like to announce the names of the teams. Yes, we, we have, have got teams. again, yes, four teams. FA Sampi, uh, Skeifold, Tibet NCA and Mate Bilaland. Yes, Tibet NSA is host nation. Yes. According to the rules, uh, the host nation is directly getting a uh, group one. Yes, it's here. It's already here. Uh, Mr. President and Vice President, if you are okay, so uh, we can continue with draw. Yes, please. Okay. Excited. Thank you. Please. Tibet NSA is already uh, number one. It's getting from uh, group one because of host nation. So for the next one, we wish good luck to each team. Here we go. Mate Bililand. Mate Bililand is matching with Tibet NSA. Yes. Congratulations. And we can continue, Simge, please. Okay. We have two teams. And. Skeifold. Skeifold LE. LE is going to match with F.A. Sapmi. Tibet NSA matched with Mata Belaland FC and Scaleford matched with Scaleford matched with Mata Belaland. Konifa Women's World Football Cap Draw Ceremony. We find out the teams matching between each other. As you can see on the list, we wish for four teams. Good luck. Mr. President, Vice President, any comments about the match, matchings? What do you say? What would you like to say? I think it's uh, really even this tournament is also really excited, excitement. And uh, just a small correction, uh, when it comes to the women tournament, uh, uh, it's uh, correct the draw ceremony. We, we have uh, teams in spot A, B, C, and D, but the, in the group stage, all the teams will play against each other. So uh, the top two teams will play the final and the third and fourth place team will, will uh, Play the bronze game, and the final, which is uh, I think is amazing, is actually on His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama's birthday. So it will be a huge, huge celebration in that area in that uh, period. So uh, I would strongly advise everyone who are able to come to really join the party in, in uh, Ponta Sahib, which is the location for the tournament. Uh, four really different. Uh, Interesting teams. Uh, the first ever Konifa women tour, um, match was actually taking place 10th of November in 2018, if I remember correct. That was actually in North Cyprus, um, where uh, Northern Cyprus women team uh, hosted a game against the Sapmi team. 
Uh, and since I'm Sapmi myself, I'm very satisfied that the Sapmi women were able to win that game with 4-0. Uh, but uh, it wasn't about the result, it was the celebration and the first step uh, inside the CONIFA to, to uh, promote to celebrate women in, in football, which is a really, really important uh, thing for us. So really proud. And I think Dallary have done a fantastic uh, job and also Tenzin who is the head of the local organization committee. It will be amazing. Thank you for comments, Mr. Belind. And uh, any comments from uh, Mr. Wenzel? Mr. President uh, told us about the uh, tournament details for the Women's World Cup. Uh, any comments uh, about it? Yes, I couldn't agree more with, uh, with the President. History making is in progress and uh, we will have intercontinental games which will hit the world. So I'm absolutely excited and very satisfied uh, with the job. We are already excited for all teams and uh, all cups. Thanks for comments one more time. Uh, and now uh, we can see uh, the results again. Football not only helped me find my voice, but helped me to express it as well. Football is more than a game. It teaches hard work, discipline and perseverance. An empowered woman is born through women's football. Chidane kanze bulo tola mizi dulam suye ke kuga mangbo shi yur ete ne onzu chizu nangla kanze bulo tola mizi dulam suye ke samu tangi te nyu shi chate sha nye dusta wa na onzu lo kuga mara ke ke re sangi to ke si onzu chugu tola kanze bulo ke tini kanje chungwa ye na lo kashi shi nangla la onzu teba nangla ne kanze bulo tola Nindachiamamuchi,Tuekirewa,Shukchumbutungi,Tuekirewa,Shukchumbutungi,Tuekirewa,Shukchumbutungi,Tuekirewa,Shukchumbutungi,Tuekirewa,Shukchumbutungi
The championship will be held in a fantastic city called Nice on Cote Azur. 12 teams, 250 players will compete for the most important continental tournament in Europe. We will have a day for cultural activities. Good luck to all and see you in Nice. Au revoir. Yes, as you said before, Mert, this uh, European Football Cup will be held in Nice and uh, at June. Yes, in June, friends, it, it sounds very good. Shall we go there? Yes, we should go, I think. Mm, I think so as well. We have a 12 team in the box today. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, talking about European Football Cup. And uh, we have also four groups. In each group, we have three teams. Uh, what are the names? Would you like to remind us? Yes, of course. In Group A, Country of Nice, to Sigils and Sardinia. In Group B, Sigili, Sampi, Skeziland. And Group C, Elba Island, Artsaki, Kernol. And mm -hmm. lastly, Group D, Padalia, West Armenia and Carpathia. Yes, we have 12 teams, four groups. In each group, we have three teams. So uh, let's have a look at European Football Cup promotion video to have a, a, a more information about it. Okay. Yes, we have a look, Nice, friends, in June. It sounds very good for the European Football Cup, CONIFA, with 12 teams. So um, let's have a flashback, Simge, if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the other cups uh, and the, the draw results? Uh, you can maybe remind us. Yes, we, we will. Uh, we can start from the, if you want, uh, yes. Africa Cup. Yes, we can see Africa Cup, uh, Women World Cup, and European Cup. Yes, in Africa Cup, the, the, the teams are, if you want, I can Pro help you. Pro Arena, Yoruba Nation, Madebelaland, Biafra. Four teams from Africa Cup. And the groups, I mean the match. Women's World Football Cup, Tibet NSA, Madebelaland, 
Skizifold fe sampi. And the European and Football Cup. This is the European teams. Football Cup teams. There are uh, 12 teams. And Group A, country of Nice, two sieges, Sardinia. Group B, Sigiri, Sampi, Skeziland. Group C, Elba Island, Artsaki, Kerno. And lastly, Group D, Badalia, West Armenia, and Carpathia. Thank you, Simge. Now, uh, at the end of the uh, program, uh, I can only say uh, best wishes for all teams, all football players and also fans. But before closure, maybe we can uh, say goodbye to Mr. President and also Vice President if they are online. Mr. Blind, can you hear us? And Mr. Wenzel? Yes. Yes, uh, I would like to say goodbye. And but before uh, we would like to one more time uh, turn back to you, and uh, we would like to get your uh, feelings and uh, comments. Uh, we declare the, the groups. Uh, we find out the find out the teams. And what would you like to say? We will have an amazing summer and a busy and amazing summer so we are we can be more excited about uh, the draw and then we can uh, about the tournaments to become we hope so and uh, mr vice president yes mr billin thanks for comments if you have no addition well uh, if you want to ask the president which is me. <laughs> uh, it's uh, I can, can uh, only agree with Christoph, our vice president, that uh, it it will be an amazing summer. Uh, we have three really uh, super interesting uh, tournaments that are coming up here this uh, summer. But there is so much more to come also. So please follow Conif on our website and our Facebook site and uh, Instagram and Twitter because. Um, this is three tournaments, three, but there will be so much more to come, and we have so much uh, planning. Uh, so next year we are planning for more continental tournaments, and in 2024 uh, we aiming for our next World Football Cup when it comes to men men competition and the women competition too. So exciting times, and uh, it looks like uh, we are heading towards a bright future after this pandemic uh, situation. So really excited and really honored to be a part of this fantastic family. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Berlin. And uh, it's time to say goodbye to everyone. And also I would like to uh, one more time uh, thank you and uh, goodbye to uh, people, our fans watching us live on Facebook and YouTube channels. And uh, well, thank you for sharing us uh, thank you for uh, sharing with me this program, by the way, Simge. Uh, yes. what, what do you want to add? It was also an honor for us to be part of this meaningful ceremony and Konif uh, Alsa. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, we say goodbye, but uh, we will uh, be together again uh, on the field uh, on this summer, as Mr. Blind says. Uh, goodbye. Thank you very much. <laughs>